Hi guys, welcome to another audio video in that reading, Zechariah 8 of the King James Version Bible. And it reads, Again the word of the Lord of hosts came to me, saying, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, I was jealous for Zion with great jealousy, and I was jealous of her with great fury. Thus saith the Lord, I am returned unto Zion, and will dwell in the midst of Jerusalem. And Jerusalem shall be called a city of truth, and the mountain of the Lord of hosts, the holy mountain. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, There shall yet old men and old women dwell in the streets of Jerusalem, and every man with his staff in his hand for a very age. And the streets of the city shall be full of boys and girls playing in the streets thereof. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, if it be marvellous in the eyes of the remnant of this people in these days, should it also be marvellous in mine eyes? Saith the Lord of hosts. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Behold, I will save my people from the east country and from the west country, and I will bring them, and they shall dwell in the midst of Jerusalem, and they shall be my people, and I will be their God in the truth, in truth and in righteousness. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, Let your hands be strong, ye that hear in these days these words by the mouth of the prophets, which were in the day that the foundation of the house of the Lord of hosts was laid, that the temple might be built. For before these days there was no ire for men, for man, nor any ire for beast, neither was there any peace to him that went out or came in because of the affliction. For I set all men, every one, against his neighbor. But I will not be unto the residue of this people as the former days, saith the Lord of hosts. For the seed shall be prosperous, the vine shall give her fruit, and the ground shall give her increase, and the heavens shall give their dew. And I will cause the remnant of this people to possess all these things, and it shall come to pass, that as ye were a curse among the heathen, O house of Judah, the house of Israel, so will I save you, and ye shall be a blessing. Fear not, but let your hands be strong. For thus saith the Lord of hosts, as I thought to punish you, when your fathers provoked me to wrath, saith the Lord of hosts, and I repented not. So again have I thought in these days to do unto Jerusalem and to the house of Judah, fear ye not. These are the things that ye shall do. Speak ye every man the truth to his neighbor. Execute the judgment of truth and peace in your gates. And let none of you imagine evil in your hearts against his neighbor. And love no false hope. For all these are things that I ate, saith the Lord. And the word of the Lord of hosts came unto me, saying, Thus saith the Lord of hosts, The fast of the fourth month, and the fast of the fifth, and the fast of the seventh, and the fast of the tenth, shall be to the house of Judah joy and gladness and cheerful feast. Therefore love the truth and peace. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, It shall yet come to pass that there shall come people and the inhabitants of Many cities and the inhabitants of one city shall go to another, saying, Let us go speedily to pray before the Lord, and to seek the Lord of hosts. I will go also. Yea, many people and strong nations shall come to seek the Lord of hosts in Jerusalem, and to pray before the Lord. Thus saith the Lord of hosts, In those days it shall come to pass that ten men shall take hold of of all languages of the nations, even shall take hold of the skirt of him that is a Jew, saying, We will go with you, for we have heard the God, that God is with you. Alright, so guys, in this chapter here we see basically the continuance of the previous chapter where the Lord has now answered the people, so they sent to ask of it and he answered and told them about what the former results were and what the former things were and he said to them to be truthful and be just in their dealings and do not devise evil thoughts against their neighbors and here it 
continues to say that they should not do this and if they do keep to these things and do not do all these things that the Lord hates then the Lord will be with them and they'll be a blessing and they will be prosperous right not only will they be prosperous but those around them will also want to come to seek God because of all that they see happening in their lives so they'll be a blessing like was said to all these people right because they shall come and they shall seek the Lord and that's what God wants us to do God wants us to go out and he wants us to basically spread the gospel to others spread the good news to others spread his love to others so that they'll come to know him and accept him as their own personal Lord and Savior right so we want to do evangelism we want to do missionary work those are things that will actually draw people to God right so what charge will you take on in aiding the cause and the charge of God so guys I'm gonna leave you right there please remember to continue to walk in your salvation and if you've not regained it then seek it there's no better time to begin than the present have yourselves a blessed day bye